Hello, welcome everyone. Welcome to the CADCAM CA lecture series. The CADCAM CA is is a subject in seventh semester uh, mechanical. Okay, and in, in the revised syllabus by AICT, the subject has uh, been been proposed in the uh, lower semester. So this this particular lecture series is helpful. Okay, at both uh the uh, subjects the old subject which is the current seven semester and the revised subject as well okay so let's get started the lecture first lecture is going to be the introduction to computer aided design that is cad various terms and terminologies used in cad so it is going to be an introduction and we will also try to understand how this subject name has appeared so cad slash cam slash ca so let's get started computer aided design so in in general let us try to find out what is design first so design is an act of working out the form of something by making sketch or outline or plan so anything if we want to make okay we we think okay we try to plan out how how we are going to make and then we start making it and then the thing get completed okay so there is some uh, defined flow for making every thing every product whatever we do okay there is certain flow of doing the thing and all that plan is is what what we are calling it as design okay so it is also called as an act of converting functional requirements into products so let's say functional requirement is I need to uh, uh, screw okay the uh, nut okay so the functional requirement is okay I have to uh, tighten the screw now I can do it manually okay I can do it manually but there is limitation to the manual tightening okay I cannot tighten it to the complete extent okay so what we do we we use a screwdriver okay we use a screwdriver so my functional requirement is tighten the screw completely okay manually i am unable to do it so i use a screwdriver okay now in order to use screwdriver on a screw okay i have to design it in certain way grip should be there it should it should uh, should be able to suit the head type of the screw and then it should be able to uh, provide the required uh, rotations okay and provide the tightening effect to the screw so all these are the functional requirements and to fulfill those functional requirements we have a product called a screwdriver so the design is also called as an act of converting functional requirements into products so that is what we we have done over here the functional requirement was to tighten the screw to the complete extent and in order to do that we have designed a screwdriver okay which is fulfilling that functional requirement so this is what the general design is all about there are many examples of design products say for example greeting cards okay which is a very good example okay if there is certain process of design what we call so first process is ideate or thinking okay so let's say in greeting cards we we think to to all kinds of extents okay varieties of extents okay and then we we try to uh, sketch something on the paper okay then we try to uh, give some some real form okay so we try to confirm the designs by trying out various uh, types of greeting card shapes and then finally we we convert it into a final design detailed design okay and then uh, the final card becomes ready so this is also a design product similar uh, procedure is applicable in web page designing okay now web page designing you can literally go to any extent in in terms of ideation okay and we we nowadays see very beautiful web pages which are designed okay and uh, this is also a design product we 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 are surrounded by design products everywhere okay whatever we use okay is designed first and made afterwards so civil constructions be it mechanical components of all kinds all these are various examples there are many more i have just listed four okay so 
these are various examples of design products okay now we'll come to the actual title of the uh, slide which is computer aided design so we have seen in general what do we mean by design okay now if i if i use computer aided design so the computer is going to help in design literally the meaning of the word okay so use of computer systems to assist in creation modification analysis and optimization of designs is what we call as the computer aided design so aided word is a very nice word so computer is helping to improve the design and it is helping to improve the design in all different stages okay in all different stages so those stages are creation stage modification stage analysis stage and optimization stage so all these are broad stages of design and computer helps in all these stages through development of various soft softwares okay through development of various softwares that we will see as we proceed so that is what we mean by computer aided design now just now we've said there are all kinds of designs okay so design is a very big set okay amongst that there is engineering design and in that there is mechanical engineering design so cad that is computer aided design which we will be applying in a mechanical engineering design domain that is what we are going to see in this entire subject okay that is what we are going to see in this entire subject and as i said uh, cad cam cae okay as a name of the subject okay cad stands for computer aided design cam stands for computer aided manufacturing and cae that is computer aided engineering okay so all these are integrated things okay so you cannot separate out one from the other and that is why slash sign is used okay slash sign is used otherwise we would have used hyphen but instead of that slash sign is used so the slash sign uh, tells us that there is a strong integration between all these activities among each other and there is nice flow of information from one to the other and it it depends on one another okay that is why the uh, this particular sign is given and not any other sign so cad slash cam slash ca means there is a strong integration of all these three with each other okay moving ahead okay different stages in design we've just briefly discussed it so let us now uh, put it in in a uh, text so the first stage is a conceptual design stage or preliminary design stage okay so conceptual design stage comes from a requirement okay or uh, say ideation it is a resultant of ideation stage so you think something in mind okay and you draw some rough sketches that is what we call as conceptual design okay it is only based on concept we have not put any thought how this is, this will be achieved okay this is just a concept that we are uh, sketching on a paper so that is a conceptual design it also can be called as preliminary design okay we slowly and uh, slowly try uh, and give meanings to whatever we have drawn and try to correlate it with available resources and uh, modify the conceptual design and what we create we create a configuration design okay we create a configuration design now configuration design makes more sense okay makes more sense it goes closer to the reality okay of the available things but it actually doesn't tell every information of of how the design stuff will be made so it requires addition of further more uh, pinpointed details okay pinpointed details and that we we supply into the design and we create a very detailed design okay this particular detailed design is detailed in in that particular manner so if you give this design to manufacturing team okay they will simply read the design and start making the product okay so it is that much detailed so it will have all the bill of material information it will have all the uh, uh, surface roughness uh, required okay surface roughness is required processes required to make okay all the manufacturing details also it will have so it is also called as routine design or detailed design so some of the examples is design of sub system of an automobile such that engine block where preliminary design starts with a cad package okay then based on boundary conditions stress and thermal analysis is carried out 
and dimensions are confirmed. So if we go back to this particular stage, so creation stage is actually creating a detailed design. Okay. And also modification analysis, okay, is, is part of creating a detailed design. So when you are creating a design, you also uh, like to analyze the design, okay, with the help of say some, some computer tools, okay, and you want to confirm the dimensions and modify the dimensions. So creation, modif modification and analysis is part of detailed design stage, okay, detailed design stage, okay. So computer helps in all, all these stages of design processes and that is why computer aided design is, is very essential these days. Okay, we can't work without computers. Okay, manual, manually trying to find out answers to all these questions is very time consuming these days and we don't have that much time. Computer increases the uh, rapid, rapidness, rapidity in the process and it decreases the required timings. Okay, so it makes our processes fast and in this rapidly changing world okay the the manufacturer would want to bring their new product into the market as early as possible so that is the reason why computers are very helpful the next stage is computer aided drafting okay now manual manually we we used to draw uh, the uh, drawings on the drawing sheets okay uh, in, in mechanical engineering language that drawing is generally called as drafting okay so the drafting is also possible using computer so computer aided drafting is one of the earliest applications of computers in the design process it is used to store document communicate all types of designs such as mechanical design architectural design electrical electronic circuit designs etc and computer aided drafting has many advantages over manual drafting so the softwares like autocad which were developed around 1980 okay is is a drafting tool okay is a direct 2d drafting and 3d drafting tool nowadays it was predominantly a 2d drafting tool for many years and industries mastered okay using autocad and they have created literally wonders okay so there are people you can without using a mouse can draw uh, stuff okay using just short short keys on keyboard and create complex uh, drafts that is 2d drawings and layered 2d drawings and uh, that is that is that is the beauty of the software called as autocad okay so uh, nowadays the the process has slightly changed okay we have 3d modeling tools okay say say for example solidworks or catia or unigraphics or pro engineer okay so all these softwares, okay, they have a different flow, okay, these softwares generally are based on feature based modeling techniques. So the flow is you create a 3D model, okay, you create a 3D model first, okay, you uh, confirm the dimensions, okay, and then you analyze the 3D model, you analyze the 3D model for stress analysis, thermal analysis, etc. Okay, using finite element tools or computational fluid dynamic tools. Okay, and then you confirm the dimensions further. Okay, you confirm the dimensions further, and such confirmed dimensions are then converted into two dimensional drafts. Okay, two dimensional drafts, two dimensional detailed manufacturing drawings, again using a software. Okay, again using a software. So the activities have been uh, slightly rescheduled. Okay, the drafting activity, which used to be the primary activity. It has now become a secondary or tertiary activity. So the primary activity is to create a 3D model. Okay, then in order to confirm the 3D model's dimensions, we we carry out stress analysis, thermal analysis, and we confirm the dimensions. And third, after confirming all the dimensions, okay, then we go for the two-dimensional drafting uh, of of that particular model. So computer-aided drafting is is there. Okay. It is very much useful, but nowadays uh, in a in a design procedure, its its uh, position has slightly changed. Okay, but as a as a engineering student, okay, we should know how how the drafts are made. Okay, how the softwares work. So there are uh, some famous software I call I told you is AutoCAD, which is very famous. There are some open source software tools like ZWCAD, and there are many more others. I have just listed two. So all these help us to uh create 
डायरेक्ट टू डी ड्राफ्ट और इवन ऑटो कैड नाउ वर्क विथ इन्वेंटर एंड एंड प्रोवाइड अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग ड्राफ्टिंग टेक्निक्स ओके विच कैन वर्क बोथ इन अ ट्रेडिशनल मैनर और इन अ रिवाइज न्यू मैनर okay if we go back to the history okay the computer aided drafting goes uh, back uh, in 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 1960s so a scientist called ivan sutherland okay developed a sketch pad in mit around 1963 okay, more than 50 years ago okay that is called as the first uh, computer aided drafting tool which was developed by uh, scientist ivan sutherland so so it has got some some history with it okay so around 1978 1980s okay uh, autocad was developed and slowly along with autocad the computer systems were also getting developed so all the development happened parallelly as the computer systems were getting uh, advanced and advanced okay the uh, computer aided tools were also coming uh, at the same time okay as i just explained uh, there is a requirement to create 3d model first okay so that particular thing is called as geometric modeling okay geometric modeling so creation of 3d model is is called as geometric modeling so geometric modeling refers to computer compatible mathematical representation of geometry so whatever we create okay in in uh, let's say solid works okay we create uh first some sketches and then we convert those 2d sketches into three dimensional geometry with the help of features so features like extrude features like revolve okay so all these feature help us to give a third dimension to our sketch okay and it is based on geometric modeling okay and it is also based on mathematical representation of geometry so you have curves okay you have surfaces you have solids so the the cre the stages of creating 3d model goes like you you create a 2d uh, geometry using curves now line is also a type of curve in geometry so straight line slanted lines curves circles arcs okay all those are part of curves okay you join several curves and create a closed surface okay Cre create a closed surface and then such closed surfaces you uh, apply some feature like extrude or revolve and you create solids so this is a general flow of creating a solid model okay creating a solid model or three dimensional model and the the activity is called as geometric modeling so geometric modeling is the basis for creating representing manipulation and storage of designs in today's cad systems okay so that as i told you all the three dimensional cad systems are based on geometric modeling which provide all these functionalities okay all these functionalities and geometric model also forms the basis for integrating design with other life cycle activities such as manufacturing now uh, the model which we create okay in cad systems the model which we create in cad systems holds the key okay holds the key so when we when we develop that three dimensional model okay we we carried out analysis and we confirm the dimensions okay then that particular 3d modeling file okay is actually a basis of all other uh, integrated systems okay of all other integrated systems that it is uh, integrated with and that actually uh, is is a very helpful uh, say for example if i have to create a uh, shaft okay uh, a tapered shaft okay a tapered shaft if i have to create then what i will do okay i will first create that uh, three dimensional model of tapered shaft three dimensional model of tapered shaft okay i will save that file now if i am using solid works i will have a extension of that file as uh, .sldprt okay if i am using catia the extension will be .dot uh, cat part okay that is catia part okay there are various extensions of of the uh, 3d model that we that we save okay now what that what does that include okay that file includes all the uh, methods uh, and ways in which the geometric information is saved okay geometric information is saved so geometric information involves say point locations okay then line information then surface information and solid information now there are various schemes in which this information can be saved okay that is what we are going to learn in this subject okay but that particular part 
holds the key now the same part if i if i uh, give to the uh, cam system that is computer aided manufacturing system so there are different softwares like solid cam then there is master cam then there are some other softwares as well which also works on the same part file okay which also works on the same part file and give us let's say a simulation environment in which we we uh, carry out a turning operation using cnc machine okay turning operation using cnc machine and save save the tool path information okay save the tool path information and we create another file which is called as nc code file okay uh, numerical control code file okay and that nc code file when it is actually supplied to physical cnc machine and all the setting is done okay when that file gets run okay we will directly get a tapered shaft as we have designed okay as we have designed so that particular part 3d model or 3d part holds a very important key and it 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 remains as a useful resource throughout the uh, cad cam and cae cycle okay so that is why uh, it is it is said as geometric models also forms the basis for integrating design with other life cycle activities such as manufacturing so i hope this point is clear now let us just see some history so as 2d cad systems around 1960s it all began okay in a mainframe platform uh, sketchpad was developed around 1970 computer aided design and manufacturing term was developed cad am okay then around 1980 micro cad am was developed okay the systems around 1990 okay the autocad uh, evolution started late 80s and early 90s okay uh, autocad was started okay and from 2000 and we we know what 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 is the current scenario okay currently uh, the the systems are well developed okay now the focus is on uh, creating a part file which can which can take less space and have more functionalities so the focus is now coming up with such file formats which which will uh, take less space okay and which will be uh, platform independent so it will it will be able to communicate over all the platforms all the uh, life cycle uh, functions okay of of the uh, cad cam ca okay and the data can also be stored on a cloud network okay cloud mobile network so this is also the current requirement okay uh everything is getting stored on the cloud okay that is the data centers which are available throughout the world so that is that is going to be the next uh, immediate future for 2d cad as far as 3d cad is concerned okay it all began around 70s early 80s okay 3d wire frame was first coined okay then around 90s 3d surface model was coined and uh, nowadays we have 3d solid model and we have a very good uh, say future for this where uh, say using different uh, augmented reality virtual reality we will be able to create 3d models okay it will no longer require a system or a monitor or something of that sort so we have a very bright future ahead now the next thing is computer aided assembly okay computer aided assembly so just now we have discussed a way in which part file is created computer aided part file is created or a part file is created on a solid work software or a catia software okay so that part file is is a single part file okay if you want to create an assembly you will require to create many such parts okay in the required dimensions okay in the required dimensions as they are going to fit with each other okay and then you can transfer into an assembly environment of the software okay you can transfer yourself into an assembly environment of the software and then you can actually assemble those parts virtually in an assembly environment using the mating uh, relationships between the components okay and you can assemble the products okay you can assemble the products now virtual assembly is very important because the parts which are created okay we need to see the tolerances okay we need to see the tolerances if the parts are going to slide over each other we would want to provide the proper surface finishes okay if if there are rotary motions then we we would want to see where the part is touching the other part okay so all those collisions of different parts we can actually see virtually on a computer computer also detects collisions 
and uh, tells us our limitations okay as far as the parts and assemblies are concerned so it is very helpful the uh, assembly uh, environment of of all these softwares okay provides us uh, with with an information as okay if if the assembly is not happening okay, if the assembly is not happening we will go back to the part environment we will modify the dimensions and again try to do the assembly so in the modification stage the assembly is also very important okay assembly is also very important and computers can be used to evaluate designs and redesign products for ease of assembly that is the concept called as design for assembly so whatever we do okay uh, many a times you see uh, we use assemblies okay many a times we use assemblies so say from uh, the laptop which which we are using is also an assembly it is not a single part it is a combination of all different parts together if you take an example of an automobile okay light motor vehicle uh, any any small car okay it actually contains more than 10000 parts okay, you can imagine 10000 parts i am saying okay so everything what we use is assembly okay so single part is is can be can be only molded parts okay plastic moldings so you use chair which is a single part uh, let's say bucket okay plastic buckets plastic mugs okay ceramic mugs those are single parts okay but apart from that any moving thing okay any any other things which we use are assemblies so it is very important to see whether the part is ready for assembly or not so that is why that design for assembly concept came into picture and the assembly environment uh, makes our parts ready for assemblies okay makes our parts ready for assembly so we are following the design for assembly concept in the computer aided assemblies so computers can be used to evaluate designs and redesign products for ease of disassembly as well so uh, say for example these exploded views okay this is an assembly in an exploded view so it also explains uh, how to assemble and how to disassemble so you have those uh, booklets which which comes along with the product uh, describing the way to assemble the product way to disassemble the product simplest example is a wall fan okay wall fan which is not assembled when you buy from a store okay you get it in a box which is in in disassembled format you have a booklet okay they give you steps to assemble the product okay they give you steps to assemble the product it is very simple to assemble we can assemble it ourselves it doesn't require any tools okay so it is it is that simple it has been made that simple so that a common layman can also assemble it and attach on a uh, wall and use that fan so all those things are included in uh, design for assembly and computer aided assembly environment uh, makes it possible for us then uh, as we discussed the analysis part it is also computer aided analysis so computer aided analysis tools are used for routine and final design checks okay computers are used extensively for analysis such as stress analysis heat transfer analysis fluid flow analysis electromagnetic analysis etc so we have discussed this okay uh, stress analysis is carried out stress concentrations are are the key areas to look at if the stress is concentrated at at some places okay we would want to uh, refine the geometries okay we would want to refine the geometries and neutralize the stress at that particular place if possible okay and we would we would try changing the materials we would try changing the geometries we would we would try various combinations and try to neutralize the stress okay and modify the design in turn okay modify the design in turn same can be uh, done with the help of heat transfer analysis if heat transfer is is a requirement let's say in heat exchangers okay if the heat transfer is not happening we can check that with the help of finite element analysis with the help of computational fluid dynamic analysis and verify our designs and modify the designs wherever required okay so that is a very important stage so I, I said uh, analysis is carried out so it is a computer aided analysis is carried out okay the three stages of computer aided analysis consist of pre processing stage processing or analysis stage and post processing stage so uh, in in a subject called as finite element analysis we have seen all these three steps and 
we have seen what are the methodologies used okay to carry out activities in every stage and the same thing is is converted and applied in a software there are various software tools available the famous ones are uh, ansys okay ansys mechanical apdl ansys workbench then you have abacus okay also provides the similar features nowadays all the 3d modeling tools also provide computer aided analysis functionalities so let's say for example solidworks has a static stress analysis tool okay catia also has similar tool uh, creo parametric that is provi uh, that that also provides a static analysis tool so now this has become a functional requirement of the design activities so you have to carry out the analysis and confirm the dimensions so this is the hook the stress analysis of hook which which is used to lift heavy loads okay attached to the crane so here as you can see there is some stress concentration happening this is a one mice stress okay so if required okay if this is not within our limit okay i think this is within the limit right now it is a megapascal uh, 143.31 megapascal okay so around 320 uh, is a yield stress okay if this material is steel then that is okay so we don't always go by the uh, color model we also need to see the values okay values so if this value is beyond our limit okay then we would want to change the shape of the hook wherever required okay so analysis helps to uh, help us to understand what exactly is going to happen with the part which is designed when it will actually get loaded okay physically so this is very helpful tool to modify the dimensions and confirm the dimensions okay there are certain optimizations also required so computer aided optimizations computers are used for arriving at optimum designs wherever there are many alternatives for feasible designs so various types of optimizations which can be carried out include parameter optimization shape and size optimization and topology optimization now optimization has become a very important requirement because the resources are getting obsolete okay resources are getting obsolete so let's say for example uh, i have these kind of structures okay this is a truss structure okay maybe a roof truss or a bridge truss okay the uh, we have used so many links over here okay we have used so many links over here but if i have to go for a size optimization okay i will first on a computer check with some combination and i found out that this particular combination is also going to give me same strength as this combination but it it uses less material okay it uses less material so i will go for size optimization okay i will go for size optimization okay now here uh, shape optimization so instead of the circular holes okay if i have these irregular shape holes they also do the work for me okay they also do the work for me so this is what we call as shape optimization so i am changing the shape so the circular shape has been changed to some irregular shape here the size is changed so as you can see it was okay so this particular size is now now reduced okay so this is size optimization this is shape optimization and this is topology optimization so we have completely changed the topology so it was a filled plate okay it was some plate having some thickness and instead now it is a, a plate with say many holes okay many holes which do the same uh, amount of uh, which gives the same amount of strength as this but what is the advantage we are saving material in all these three and uh, they have different requirements so size optimization shape optimization topology optimization and great amount of research is being carried out on all these optimization techniques to improve the design further and save material save space save size etc etc so we have seen uh, bits and pieces uh, of introduction of cad okay that is computer aided design okay in coming lecture series we will see uh, some of the integrating aspects of of cad cam and ca okay integrating aspects of cad cam and ca and then we will see each and every term in detail so we'll we'll begin by by uh, the geometry creations the geometric modeling okay how the line is represented how the circle is represented and then we will we will actually go into the uh, two dimensional transformations and three dimensional transformations which is the core of of computer aided design 
so as far as the introduction uh, lecture is concerned we will stop over here i hope uh, you have understood the uh, the important aspects of cad cam ca as far as the introduction is concerned okay i'll see you in the next lecture thank you